Yes, Grunt, I know you just passed your rite of passage, but I'm not getting you ice cream. Hey, everybody, welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. I'm so mad the last time. Grunt became a full-fledged adult. Oh, how nice for him. And this time, we'll be starting up Morden's mission. But first, we have a different I may be young, but I relay the Nope, okay, not that. That's important. So, what we're first going to do... Yeah, we're cool. I just want to head back to the ship. We don't need to, but some dialogue that we miss otherwise. Not clan reports use weak nope, not that. See references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the chief scout. In addition, killing the Thresher Maw has produced several breeding requests for Grunt and one for Shepard. Ah. That is the dialogue that I wanted to hear. This is needed to take care of that first. At this point, now we can go and head on back to the ship. Welcome to the clan, or not grunt. Honored to be a part of it. Good for you. Now go find something else to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. I'm going out into the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. I like the mechanic. It's very, again, minor characters are sometimes very, very fun. And that mechanic, I believe, would apply for that. At first, I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. Urs is having fun. Still looking for that Solarian? Or did you just come to waste my time? Yes, we have come to waste your time. That's what that nod meant, right? Because if it's a loyalty mission, even if we don't have him in the party, initially, Morden is still acquired, Grunt now has a new thing of uh, appearance as well. Gonna bring Tally along, though. Uh, we'll also get Cryoblast to get multiple targets. Morden. I'm gonna do Incineration Blast to get multiple targets. And might as well get him a Solarian Scientist. Uh, I mean, he dies quickly anyways. And I suppose Quarian Machinist, Machinist? I don't know, man. Um, energy drain, so we'll go with powers. Of course, because I'm wearing Tally, that means that there's some dialogue that I want to see. Um, I'm also going to switch to the Phalanx, the M5A. Phalanx, heavy pistol, highly accurate and lethal sidearm, effective against armor. Yeah, yeah. The M5 Phalanx is part of the Alliance's offensive handgun project that developed a, a close in weapon to be used on armored or shielded targets with no loss of stopping power in comparison to the shoulder's assault, soldier's assault rifle. 
Phalanx enjoys a ballistic advantage over most hand cannons and features an integral laser sight, which is highly visible even in bright lighting conditions. Phalanx variants are often purchased by colonists on planets that have particularly dangerous big game animals. So, less power than the Carnifex, however, it does have the laser sight. Ah, Duchanka, what a beautiful planet of ruins, gray, fire a lot of times. Looks like a great classification. So, Flixen. We've seen these guys before. And toss you. And now, Full Carbath might be able to get both. Nope. Eh, yeah, we're fine with exploding. We're used to it at this point. So, with those two taken care of again, just always investigate everywhere. Just a good idea. And we got some Baron coming in, looking very similar to Grunt's trial at this point. And take care of the Varen pretty easily. And I guess we'll switch over to the SMG. Us not having any heavy ammo is fine. This mission doesn't have any super big enemies. Oh, what we do have is people with their own missile launchers. Thanks, Varen. Not Varen, Vorcha. Basically the same thing. Vorcha are just two footed Varen. I'm sure there's. Uh, that feels like some insult that someone in the universe would say. That clears them out. There we go. Top up on our ammo. We're gonna top up, but you know. We're the trooper. Tear through you. Down go you. Completely miss hitting Cryoblast. Ow. Get warp. We have Phalanx. Why are you not in the cover? One down. Take those two out, we still just have. Uh, it's just a normal trooper. Yeah, I think the Phalanx is a little. It, it's. I think it's just like a middle ground between Carnifex and Predator. Less damage than the Carnifex, but. A bit. I guess more reliable, I would say. More ammo for sure. And cry out. Uh, oh, I expect that to do a little bit more. Because, you know, using fire on a frozen enemy seems like something that should do a lot. Uh, keep moving ahead. Pyros, you can just overload. And I'm pretty sure this is where we get the combustion manifold. 
I guess not, though. Alright, well. That's fine. Uh, hold up. This Cat was on top of my computer, and he has before turned my computer off by standing on it, so... I would like that to not happen in the middle of a recording. Not difficult. Luckily, we have Morden and Tali to take care of business for us. Cryoblast. Pop him like a grape. And... Down you go. Whoa, oh, Cryoblast. Still have not seen it hit multiple enemies at the same time. With a single use. That's fine if we take multiple and the trick. This isn't the one I was aiming for. Whatever. He tried to armor up, not going to be all that beneficial for you. Especially if you focus in on the drone. Takes all of you out. There we go, there's the combustion manifold. And there we are. Not too bad there. Uh, got a little opener there, pop, pop, and to be on. Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy, built to withstand punishment. Odd to see the Krogan devote so many resources to caring for the sick. Hospitals important to Krogan. Sites of honor. Focus for repopulation. And yeah, always comes back to the repopulation efforts. That body, human. Need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles. Track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was? No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level concept testing. Native to Tachanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. <sighs> Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life, makes humans useful test subjects, larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. <sighs> Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varen. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. 
Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. The comment by Morden there about human genetic diversity is actually something that's really interesting. Of course, I don't think this will come as too much of a shock, but this game was developed by humans. So, of course, you know, humans we like doing our, our power fantasies. So, you know, humans are the number one species. There's a reason that the collectors are targeting specifically human colonies. We won't see that for a long time, though. We won't, won't get into the details on why that is. So, this explanation about human genetic diversity is what is making humans special. Of course, the Krogan are better at fighting than humans. The Korians are generally smarter. Solarians generally smarter. Turians, yeah, they're fairly similar, honestly. So, this is kind of the explanation that makes humans a little bit more special. Because, again, humans like to feel special. So, I do think that's a nice little touch to kind of explain things away. I suppose. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. If I flee, I might trip over the dozen Krogan I killed to get here. I think I'll take my chances. You killed our youngest and weakest human. They were not worthy of remaining near our glorious work. Inside, you will find only hardened, blood-packed veterans, tempered by savagery and war, and dedicated to one goal. The Salarian will cure the Genophage, and Clan Werelock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood. Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan rebellions will become the Krogan Empire. You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target. Now, I didn't show it off, but that Renegade Interrupt is actually very, very unique for one specific reason. That is a required interrupt. The Warlock Gold Speaker will not shut up until you kill him like that. He will just keep going through a loop of a few lines of dialogue until eventually he goes kaboom. So, yeah, that's just... It's a nice little, it's a fun thing. Not very nice for him, at least, but still. Got some Warlock clan guards. Freeze you. Quick cry on him. Oh. <laughs> and Shepard's body has burned to a crisp, so no crisp, so no Lazarus V2. And looks we like we Krogan Hospital. Dirt. Sturdy. Built to withstand yeah. punishment. Oh. That body. Human. Test Here. subject. Uh, humans useful. As Krogan use of humans, unsupported. Here, no tests on species with members capable. Wise to delay modifying hope. Conceptually set makes human Outliers in all speed. Focus on melee. There we go. We help the dead. Another reason to try to succeed at this so that I don't have to redo that dialogue to get our our points back. But where are gold? The galaxy When we cure the genophage, where are gold will rule. Might as well show this off now, eh? 
The Krogan rebellions will become the Krogan Empire! The surviving races will frighten their children with tales of what the Blood Pact did to the Turians. The Asari will scream as their citadel plunges into the sun. We will keep Salarians as slaves and eat their eggs as a delicacy. If you lack the wisdom to flee, then you will be the first of billions to be crushed beneath our might. For Warlock Gold! Attack! Oh, never mind. I was wrong about that. I could have sworn that was required. I, it might just be because he talks for so long. Regardless. Oh well. It's fine though. Let's try out. I could have sworn that was. Well. Regardless. Let's just go and die. Because I do want to still do that Renegade Interrupt. Repurposed broken <sighs> I don't even know if we got any Parion or... We've heard this dialogue before. Outliers and all. No test. Focus on melee. Too late to help the dead. Got a little bit of Paragon. Which is what we need. I am great at songing. Ba -ba. Hello. The Solarians. They discovered Malin's work. Oh, whatever. The Krogan will rock when we cure the Genophage. Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan you talk too much. See, the human cannot. And missed out on a little bit of Renegade, even still. Well, whatever. Not gonna. All right. Well. I don't think they're gonna be very effective at charging from all the way over there. Let's cryo. Maybe war. Shoot you in the face a few times. And cryo. Morden's down. And then you we can cryo as well. And because you got frozen wall pretty close, we are good there. And uh, a little bit of a tricky room to maneuver around, I will say. Break you. Yep, you did die there. I couldn't quite tell if he died. Uh, it's like that sort of angle. That is one very fun thing about biotics, just trying to get the angles all taken care of. But, with a nice firefight out in a hospital started at least, next time we continue through, but until then, See you guys later.